good morning now coming to the basic con concept of the endocrine pharmacology now whenever we are talking about the basic concept of the endocrine pharmacology uh, we will discuss in details now whenever we are talking about the different glands clear where we are talking about the different gland now endocrine glands have the ducts exocrine glands it is generally having the ducts and secrete onto a surface for example you can say the sweat gland cerebellar glands these are the example of the exocrine glands now exocrine glands can be unicellular for example goblet cell and multicellular like others clear coming to the endocrine glands now in case of the endocrine glands they do not have duct we need to understand that they do not have duct their secretion that means hormones are secreted into the directly into the blood stream so they will secrete the hormones into the blood stream because of this because it is secreted into the blood stream the hormones it will uh, go away from its origin and they you can say that act in long distances clear long distances and uh, they will act by the coordinating activity clear coordinating activity and uh, generally they having their specific target clear they having their specific target organ of the hormones now endocrine system consists of the ductless endocrine glands whichever we have already told they are the scattered throughout the body so the different area they are going to uh, scatter now even though endocrine glands for for the most of the part is not connected anatomically they constitute a system in a functional sense that means if you consider their function one is correlated with uh, related with the other but it is not like that with the any uh, duct or any other things they are correlated but with the function if you are considering the uh, their function they are inter uh, interconnected they all accomplish their functions by secreting hormones into the blood and many functional interaction takes place among the various endocrine glands now endocrinology is the study of hematostatic chemical adjustment or other activities that hormone accomplish now coming to that continuation of that even though blood distributes the hormone only specific target cell is respond to each hormone as already we have told they having the specific target organ a specific target organ a hormone is mediator molecule that can release in one part of the body and regulate the activity which is situated into the other part now if you see about the endocrine system if we, mediator molecule of course it is the hormone site of action far from the release clear for because they are released into the uh, blood circulation what is the target cell throughout the body but specific target onset of action second to hours of the day depend upon the target organ duration of action generally longer seconds to days now in case of this endocrine glands clear whenever we are talking about the endocrine uh, system or the endocrine gas these are the glands are very important because they are uh, distributing all over the body and they are you can say that regulating some specific function plus some specific function now we'll going to discuss about the what are the different hormones are there what is their function in detail that we are going to discuss